You set up on your peg, you've got your pole roof to your side, you've got all your bait to hand. How do you sort of go about structuring your setup? Is there anything that you pay particular attention to when you're going to catch a big weight of fish? Um, so I'll put my box down, make sure it's all level. Um, bait tray there, quite high up, so I can have everything to hand. Yeah. All the bait I need close to me. Um, pole sock, pole rollers all set the way I need to before the start. Take a bit of time to make sure that's perfect. And um, yeah, make sure everything, everything's hand and easy to use. Mm. Mm. And I notice you've got your pole rollers quite sort of high so you can get over that bank at the back there and you, and you did take a real long time over that. But also the tripods at the bottom there make it stable don't they? Yeah, I mean obviously you can get windy in Cornwall so it's, um, it's good having a nice steady roller to make sure you don't break anything. And um, yeah. Well, I think like another nice feature is definitely these two pole socks you've got there because obviously something I sometimes find myself doing with one pole sock is you have your 30 metre or half your pole in one and you, you're shoving your other <coughs> subsection into the, the same one but that way I suppose if you're fishing meat short the rest of your pole is out of the way isn't it? Yeah I mean um, when you're rushing around trying to catch quickly it's, it's good to have another option somewhere to put your pole and you're not all crammed into one sock and uh, cluttered so yeah. Definitely and I notice you've got a support bow at the front there where you can mount your keep net so quite literally you know you can just be a efficient fish catching machine can't yeah, you? Yeah hopefully. In theory anyway. Let's get fishing. <laughs>